Hello and welcome back to Fable the Lost Chapters with yours truly Lord of Cinder the Mad. Hi Lord of Flosses, Harbinger of Spiffening, level 22, Boxes Madman, Cutest Viking 2013 and all around neutral guy. Let's go back to Arkham Shrine. This thing works. We need to release the soul from the mask and, well, your guess is as good as mine. <sighs> using the soul to power itself. Anyway, we figured out the second inscription. It says, the heroine. I can't think of anyone who fits the description better than Scarlet Robe, your mother. There's always me, of course, but as you can see, I'm still alive. And I plan to stay that way. You'll have to pay her tomb in Oakvale another visit. I know this won't be easy, but Scarlet was always one to make sacrifices, remember? Quite. All right then. Poor Scarlet. Hasn't she suffered enough? Would you really do that to your own mother? Take Briar. She is of no use to anyone. Briar's cool. She can read the inscriptions and stuff. I won't sacrifice her. Plus, she's still alive. The stack. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of screaming. <laughs> Thanks for that check. I know what you think, Sam, but Jack has sent a legion of screamers to torment my soul. They won't allow me to leave. And now they will try to take you too. Alright, collect mummy's soul. Where are you screamers? One day I will find out what they're supposed to be doing and... Oh! They reach my health without actually... That's cool. So basically they can attack my health without damaging my shield. That's pretty damn impressive, to be honest. Which reminds me. Seriously, very impressive. At least now my health potions finally get to see some use. Because as we know, I usually use the physical shield, which I actually have on right now as well. Which turns all health damage to magic damage. Jack's spirit is strong, and his new form is almost ready. But I sense how he fears you. Take my soul, and avenge our family once and for all. And make him pay, son. <sighs> right. Dare out his wings and give him a new one. Come back to the shrine and I'll show you. I'm sure your mother would be proud. Now, there's just one inscription left. The oldest soul. But we still haven't figured out who that might mean. We both know who it is, dear Briar. You can't protect the old fool any longer. It's the Guildmaster the Shrine wants, hero. Jack? So it really is true. He's alive. And still up to his old mind games. I hope the Guild Acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the Guild and speak with them.
this is also one of the ideas that supports the theory about uh, Scythe being the first Archon, because the first Archon sacrificed his soul to get the Sword of Eons. Yay. Which only really... This place has been a mess since you left. People running around with bits of old paper, books flying everywhere. And a guild master's only gone and hold himself up in the guild woods. We're not supposed to let anyone near him. We found it. The soul mentioned in the inscription. It must be Nostro. His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries. Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison. Catching souls? Never heard such nonsense. Well, good luck, hero. Yeah, the Scythe matter only released this because uh, Scythe was both was older than both Nostro and the Guildmaster, since he was there to help both of them gain their position. Alrighty then. Um, probably want to go that way. Yeah. Hello, guardsman. What's up? Oh, the guild told us you'd come. Here, I don't know what's going on, but it's like the end of the world in there. But hey, <laughs> now that you're here, we can get the whole thing sorted, right? I didn't join the 5th Regiment so I could stand around guarding graves all day. Oh, no, sir. Alrighty. Everyone fighting everyone in. Excellent. How come this bastard is still alive? That took longer than I expected. I'll run along then. That. That bastard dead. And that bastard dead. And everything is peaceful now. Yay. I am bringing you peace! Accept my peace! A peace offering is excellent. Every sh everyone should like my sort of peace. There we go. Come on, drink some potions and get out of here. I have a very suspicion that I may have to buy new potions at some point. But for now, butt kicking! All the butts will be kicked! Excellent. Nostro, here I come for you, my dear friend. Guildsmen, we meet once more. You reclaimed my weapons and armor and brought me peace. Now, I offer my soul in return. But I am Nostro, and mine is a warrior's soul. You must take it in battle so that I may stand proud among my comrades in the afterlife. My men have sworn an oath to protect me even in death. Only when they fall can I be harmed. Now, claim my soul with honor. Personally, I love this battle. I just love the idea of it. No.
Can he be harmed right now, or he's he just... Oh. <laughs> My magic is so OP. <laughs> oh well. It can happen sometimes. I think I might have left the silver key in this direction. I'm not sure. I'm thinking of giving the school a quick visit. Maybe I have some new books to share. I might have. I might have not. But I will give it a try. But um... What's our? I will not actually make it in time for class. That's not very classy of me, is it? No. Any books for us today, hero? Yeah. The book of spell. No. Yeah. Ah, the book of spell. No, I still only have books of spells and this is not the wizard school. Huh. Ships and souls seems like child's play, doesn't it? I'd be lying if I said I wanted to go in with you. If it was up to me, I'd be halfway around the world. And I'm not sure I'd be safe even there. I'm sure you can do it. I've never fought beside a hero like you before. There's nothing you can't do. I really believe that. Well, this is it. Suddenly all... All right, and Saif, do you have anything oh, to say? No. You cannot escape your fate. Should you fail, there is little hope for the people of Albion. The day has finally come. Many had prophesied that the opening of the Bronze Gate would mark the end of our world. You will prove them wrong. Should you fail, there is little hope. All right, thank you. Wait. Was he actually repeating yet, or was I just assuming so? The bronze gate. True, the gate has... Though the gate has remained closed throughout the modern age and there are no records chronicling its purpose, scholars have speculated that Archon himself may have locked away a great evil behind it. According to some snow spire myths, the opening of the gate will bring about the end of the world. Locals say it is no accident that its metals feel hot to the touch. Well, that's kind of probably because lava. Arkans Folly. Is this where the bloodline ends? Oh no, Theresa is still alive. And I think the other heroes are also of the bloodline. Can I stun lock him again? Let's try that. It seems to be working, but I'm not sure. Ah, he ran away.
shite. That kinda took out my shields in one hit. That's not very nice. You are Jack. Really, that's about all that you are. I'd say... yeah, maybe. Like a human to a dragon. Ah. Uh, the bastard. Uh, I do suspect my shields might be for nothing in this scenario. Seem to do anything, you know. Can I slash his face? Oh, I can. Wait, let me get the one that makes me multitask, multi strike. Come on. Or not. once again a situation where, you know, actually having the abilities I usually have might not be as useful as it usually is. Come on, take an arrow in the face. Whoop, 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 whoop. Starting to change my mind about that. The shields are useful. Would also be useful would be check landing so I could stab him in the bloody face. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, come on, come on. It seriously? I get the choice. Why didn't I get the choice? What button should I have clicked? No! At least I got my dramatic uh, no now. The dragon was slain, and yet a tremor ran through the world. Skies darkened, and every man, woman, and child in Albion succumbed to a petrified hush. The hero and Jack of Blades were one. What chaos and pain they would bring, none could say. Yet even in the most hopeless of hearts, one thing was certain. Wherever evil rose, there would always be someone to fight it. But seriously, that was not what I had in mind. <laughs> Maybe I should have random clicked someone. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I was expecting a prompt to actually allow me to do that. Maybe I... maybe there was one and I just didn't see it? Oh well. 
I will be going back and uh, doing the battle decently after this, but um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. This is not at all like what I had in mind. <laughs> but for now, for now, for now, for now, credits, let them roll.
That image is a lie, I did not use the bow in the arena fight. Nineteen hundred fifteen pizzas. That's a lot of pizzas. You've just learnt the insult expression. Oh well. You are now evil enough to use the vulgar thrust expression. Oh yeah, that's the best expression. Seriously, the personality for evil. <laughs> oh well. That happened. Oh well, skills, expressions, alignment, and... Best Come one. on. Come on! Enough to use the middle finger expression. I'm now evil enough to go and kill everyone. Technically. Oh well. I think this is the place where I do this move. I should have saved before I went there. Huh. Alright, then I'm doing this right this time! Come on! Give me your soul so I can burn it. You must destroy the mask. Whatever you do, you must not wear it. There we go. Into the lava. Problem solved. Hell yeah. It was a battle that would be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oakvale slew the dragon Jack of Blades. The day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time.
But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next series. Whatever that might be. Goodbye.